welcome back. My name is Sana. This is Perfectly Imperfect Keto, where being perfect is overrated and being imperfect is appreciated. I am feeling so great to be back. I am going to share just little clips of my meals each and every day. So some days are going to be one meal a day OMAD. Some days are going to be considered two mad. I really have to listen to my body more so than ever. You all know that I am a big advocate of always listening to your body. And with the health uh, issues that I'm going through right now, I have to advocate that for myself more than ever before. So today I was really not hungry in the morning. I was not hungry at lunchtime. It is about a couple minutes past 3 p.m. I am feeling like today is going to be an OMAD day, a one meal a day. So I'm just gonna get into what I'm preparing for my meal tonight. All right, my friends, so these were just some frozen chicken wings that I had purchased from Winn-Dixie. They had a sale that was BOGO at the time. It is definitely a smaller package than the one that I purchased at Aldi. So I definitely prefer the one from Aldi, but the BOGO sale definitely made these chicken wings worth it. I simply just used some Redmond salt, some garlic powder, and I put a little bit of tahini on it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you all what the tahini looks like. And it's not completely the cleanest. Right now that's okay for me because I'm definitely adding just a little minute amount. So here is the information on it. Here is the ingredients. So it might not be completely clean, but that is okay. It is going to do myself well and what my goals are. So I'm not going to stress it at all. I did want to share a tip. So when you have your frozen chicken wings, and if you have a strainer like this, I purchased this from Aldi. I know they have it. Um, currently going on throughout the summer but I purchased this I want to say it's been almost about five years now I simply just put in a strainer like this I dump the frozen chicken wings I put some cold water and this makes it so much easier because it is a double type of strainer so if you have any sort of kitchen contraption that is a double strainer dump your frozen chicken wings in it that way, when you pull this other strainer out, you simply already have all that water consumed out. So you don't have to worry about holding on to your chicken wings and not losing one to the bottom of the sink. You simply just have that easy pull option when you're using a double strainer. So I'm gonna go ahead and convection bake these at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm just gonna bake them until crispy, so I will show you all what my plate looks like a little bit later on. All right, I have my food plated up. So those chicken wings, I did 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and they went for 15 minutes both sides, so I definitely flipped it after that first 15. You do you depending on the time. If you like it crispy or not, you may want to do less time for less crispy. This is just some leftover sauteed ground beef, 7327. And here I do have the same steak, but it is two different ways. This is simply just cut up, sauteed in some butter and salted some leftover New York strip steak. And here I just took the fatty edges that the rest of my family does not like for the exception of me as well as the six year old. So I air fried simply just the fatty edges of the New York strip steak. And here is just a little bit of leftover of some jumbo shrimp that I had gotten from Aldi. So this is going to do me for this Friday's one meal a day. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in while it is still hot and stay tuned for the next day. Hello friends and happy Saturday. I am going to get right into showing you my one meal a day dinner for tonight. All right friends, so it's around 4.30ish p.m. I'm gonna go in with my one meal a day. I'm gonna see how my body feels tomorrow. I kind of felt like I should have gone in with too mad today. I'll see if the same happens tomorrow, but as I said, I'm gonna go ahead and listen to my body. So first off, I have two chicken wings that I did not eat from my OMAD yesterday. So I have two of those. 
and I do have a leftover from the family that I just simply wrapped them up all together. I just reheated them in the air fryer. I do have two over easy eggs salted with some Redmond and I have three burger patties. Earlier this morning, I got a head start while my body was feeling really good and I simply just baked at 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 17 minutes, some 75-25 burger patties. They are the pre-packaged patties that I purchased at Aldi. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this and see how my body feels for this Saturday. If I definitely want more, I will listen to my body and take some more. Stay tuned for tomorrow's meal. Hello my friends and happy Sunday. Today is Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all the dads there and those that have crossed over the rainbow and are never forgotten. Right now it is currently a little bit after 2 p.m. We're just about to watch a movie, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with just four boiled eggs. This we did in our Ninja Foodie pot using the 555 method. So I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy these and stay tuned for what we'll be having for dinner. All right, friends, it is about 4.30 p.m. and I am ready for dinner. So what I have here is an air fried ribeye steak. I do have three salmon patties. So these salmon patties, I made them myself. Um, they are carnivore friendly as they just simply have salmon um, fillets that I simply just minced up after baking them. I used some extra sharp cheddar cheese block shredded it myself and mixed it up with some egg so it was simply just salmon those little black specks are the skin of the salmon so i definitely you know didn't mind including that as well and i just have a dollop of some sour cream here that way i can dip the salmon cakes in and the ribeye steak we were able to get a really good deal we were able to get five steaks on sale so aside from the sale price being down from $12.99 a pound, the sale price dropped down to $7.99 a pound. And then on top of that, I also had a coupon for 20% off. So we were actually able to score five ribeye steaks for less than $19. So it was an amazing, great score of a deal. So I definitely was happy about that. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. We're gonna enjoy the rest of Father's Day and some movie time. So I'm gonna be able to enjoy this during that time. I hope everyone is having great family time today. See you all tomorrow. Hello my friends and happy Monday. I hope everyone had a wonderful weekend. Yesterday was Father's Day, so I hope all the dads out there had a wonderful Father's Day. So today I'm kind of feeling a little just head wise, just my brain just kind of feels like a mush, probably because I did overdo it a little bit in the kitchen yesterday. I did want to make Father's Day extra special for my husband. So him and I, we've been together for 21 years. We just celebrated our 21st anniversary of being together in May. I did not get to post it because it was during the time that I was still going through my inpatient recovery from the hospital. So I just kind of went a little bit over the top, just slightly kept you know the meal very simple but it was a lot of exertion for myself, still kind of being in this, still process of healing and recovery as I am getting treatment. So currently right now it is almost 1.30 p.m. So I am definitely feeling like I can eat something. Um, my woman monthly cycle started today. So I definitely am feeling the hunger opposed to any other probably time that I could have kind of held off on a meal. No, this time around, I'm definitely having a feeling that I definitely need to eat something and just kind of get something in my stomach to kind of just really boost my energy. 
So I'm gonna show you all what I'm going in with for my first meal of the day. So what you see plated here is actually four eggs, but three of them decided to stay over easy. And then I simply just have a fourth one here that had plans of its own. So eggs are certainly like people. They definitely want to show up how they please when in doubt. <laughs> So just that liquidness is just some buttery goodness. The specs on top is simply just Redmond salt. And I do have, I've been trying to keep the cheese reintroduction to only about one ounce for each meal. So like if I'm having OMAD, definitely I try not to go beyond one ounce. That has definitely been doing me well. I have not had any issues of inflammation or as far as in terms of experimenting with the scale no inflammation has showed up no water weight um, so I've been doing very well with it I'm still having weight loss progression even with incorporating the cheese so this is simply just cubed up I cubed it myself it is gouda cheese that I had purchased from Aldi let me show you all the package so this is the wedge of Gouda cheese that I purchased from Aldi. So the price on this was $2.49. I want to say this was regular price at $2.49, so it wasn't horrible. And here are the ingredients. So it is very clean compared to some other choices that are available. So this is pretty much a hard cheese. It is definitely semi soft is what I would say but it is more so on the hard cheese side so this right here is for a seven ounce wedge and I love the taste of gouda cheese so it is a really light type of cheese so if you enjoy something that is not too big of a flavor profile in terms of a big cheesy taste this is something nice, especially when you're reintroducing cheese. It's something that's a lot more milder when it comes to the taste profile. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dig in with this while it is still hot, and I will see you all come the time of plating up my dinner. All right, my friends, so I do have my dinner for this Monday night plated up. Simply what I did was I just sliced up two leftover ribeye steaks that we had. So we had two leftover air fried ribeye steaks from last night's dinner, along with some slices from our kids that they did not eat. So I just sauteed it with some ghee. And I do have a salmon cake. I did only eat two out of the three I had plated from yesterday's meal from the dinner. And I simply just have some sour cream with some Redmond salt on top. So I will update you all whether or not I go in with another salmon patty or some more ribeye steak. But I'm going to go ahead and eat this while it's still hot. And I will update you all if I should eat anything additional aside from what I have plated up here. All right, my friends, I just got done with this Monday night's dinner. I did only stick to just one of the salmon patties, the salmon cake. That definitely stuffed me up with that ribeye steak and that little bit of sour cream. So I hope you all enjoyed this little bit of a different approach that I'm taking with my content as I am continuing to heal day by day. If this is the first time you're seeing my face, welcome. I hope. The content you are seeing encourages you to subscribe to my channel. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, I appreciate you all. Take care, friends.